Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about molecular cloning for beginners. The word cloning refers to creating identical copies. So then, what is molecular cloning or recombinant DNA technology? Molecular cloning is a technique that is used to create identical copies or clones of a specific DNA sequence. As an example, here we have a specific DNA sequence and when we create multiple identical copies of this particular DNA sequence, this is called molecular cloning. So uh, the process of molecular cloning involves inserting a DNA fragment of interest into a vector such as a plasmid which can be used to replicate and propagate the DNA in a host cell. So basically, the process of molecular cloning involves inserting a DNA fragment into a plasmid and that results in the formation of a molecular clone or a recombinant DNA. The molecular clone produced by molecular cloning methods are used in gene expression studies, protein production, RNA production and genetic manipulation. So then, what are the steps involved in molecular cloning process? The first step involved in molecular cloning process is insert preparation. We can prepare the insert from the template DNA by using PCR amplification, by using the primers specific for our target sequence. Okay, then finally we will have our desired insert. Our desired insert can also be prepared by using the suitable restriction enzymes okay so basically what we do we use suitable restriction enzymes we cut cut out our uh, desired sequence from the template dna and finally we get our desired insert so after preparing the insert in the next step we prepare the vector so the circular vectors are linearized by using suitable restriction enzymes and then we open the vector or we linearize the vector so after preparing the inserts and the vector, these linearized vector and the inserts are ligated using suitable ligating enzymes that results in the formation of a molecular clone as shown here. So then what is the next step? In the next step, what we do is that we take this ligation mixture and we transform competent cells such as E. coli with this ligation mixture and that results in the formation of transformed bacteria. So then how to check that? The bacteria has taken up the correct clone, not the incorrect clone. So then what we do for that, we do the selection of transformed cells or the bacteria using a selective media such as ampicillin media. For example, for the bacteria that has taken the clone with correct insert, clone with incorrect insert and the plasmid so what will happen? The bacteria will grow on the plate containing the, the antibiotic. Okay, so we will see the colonies of the bacteria for all these three kinds of three three kinds of in the three kinds of clones. Okay, we will see the growth of bacterial colonies on the plate. However, we will not see any colonies on the plate for unligated insert, unligated plasmids, and also no plasmids. There will be no colonies. So then after the selection of the transformed cells using selective media, what we do? So basically we confirm successful cloning by performing restriction enzyme digestion and sequencing. So then what we do? So from, from we pick up the colonies from this plate. So from here, okay, so we pick up the colonies from this plate and we prepare mini culture for each of the colonies picked, okay? And in the next step, what we do, we isolate the plasmid from each of these mini culture. And in the next step, we perform the restriction digestion by using the enzymes. At least one of them should cut in the insert and the other one cutting outside. Or we can also select another sets of enzymes. So basically, we cut the plasmid using, uh, we cut the isolated plasmid using suitable restriction enzymes. And in the next step, what we do, we, we run the agarose gel electrophoresis and we check that uh, the restriction digested mixture has uh, the correct length as you expect. Let's say that this is our correct 
uh, expected lanes these two are these two bands are expected bands and then what we will do is that we will only select the um, we will only select the bacteria for the for the processing okay from here um, we will not select this clone because this is incorrect because these are the expected size we will also not select this one this is also incorrect because here are also the incorrect incorrect size and we will also not select this clone because here are also incorrect size so then we will select this particular clone and so how how we confirm we confirm by agar we run the agarose gel, agar gel electrophoresis and we check that if the we see the correct bands as we expect and in the final step after confirming and uh, the clone is correct by restriction digestion we do the sequencing to confirm that the clone has correct insert sequence